Hey, welcome back everybody. In this episode, we're gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a button. I know, it's pretty insane. So here's what you do. You go to the palette and you select button. You can see I'm in the comment, or it's comment, common, and you take button and you drag it and you drop it. Boom, and that's how you create a button, guys. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and check. All right, I got a little bit more info. Feel free to stay. So. Basically, when we create this button, and the reason I, I felt necessary to create a video dedicated to this is because I have a little bit of extra information. And when we create this button, you'll first see that it automatically gives us an ID for this button. So that's pretty cool. If you remember from earlier episodes, this hello world down here, it did not default with an ID. We actually had to type that out here. That's important. Uh, it, we use the ID to access this, this uh, view from our code. So just to see this, you might see something like, and don't worry about, we'll get into the details of this later. Oh, what in the world was that? Huh, okay. ID dot, and then you can say hello, which that's re referring to that hello world, but we can also say button. And you can see our button automatically appears here. So that's nice. That's the first thing you should know. The second thing, and we're gonna get into the positioning stuff in detail. What, Claire, is that you? I swear, Claire, if you're finding some new means of communication via the internet, I am going to flip. All right, I'm going to mute this. All right. So we'll get into the positioning uh, in detail later on, but you can see with this Hello World, you can see how it's kind of anchored in the middle of the screen. And even if we go to a different sized phone, so let's go with something larger, it still positions in the middle. You know, it kind of thinks about it for a second, and then eventually it, it just pops right into the middle. But our button over here, it's just going all over the place. How, how do we position that? So let's go back to the phone we had. So we were on the Pixel 3a. And you can also see this over here. The view is not constrained. Uh, come back. It only has blah, 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 so it'll jump to 0, 0. So what that means is we run this thing, it's going to go pop and jump up to the top corner. So here's how we fix that. We're in what's known as a constraint layout, and this allows us to basically define the position of this button based on the, the layout that it's in. So there's this little drop down here, this default margin, and yours is probably on zero. You go ahead and put that on eight, that's pretty good. And then what you can do is you can put this button anywhere, but you can take this little white circle, drag it, and pop to the top, and that's, that's where it's gonna go. And do the same thing for the left, and there you go. So now it's anchored 8 DP, uh, what's DP? I forget. All right, so DP, density independent pixels. So it's a little bit more dynamic. It's one pixel on a 160 DPI screen. So that's what we're going to be using for, for sizing. So it's going to be eight of those from the top and eight of those from the left. So what we can do is we can run this and just confirm that it works. But in the meantime, we can take a look on different devices. So if we go to a watch, you can see it's still right in the corner. We go to a TV. Look, it's still right there in the corner. So it looks like it's anchored pretty well and that's pretty good. Uh, it's a little slow sometimes. <laughs> Probably because I'm trying to launch this thing and it takes forever. My goodness, but you can run this thing and you can see our button is right there. When you click it, nothing happens. So obviously buttons tend to do things, that's what they're for. So let's talk about that. And that's what actually we're going to focus on dedicated in the next episode, but we'll just get on the basics here. One of the, the attributes of this is the on click. And this can be used to define some code that will execute when this button is clicked. And that is going to be defined inside of this main activity.java. So we'll have something that looks similar to this, probably down here. And then we basically link the two so when we click that button, it is executed. And that is what is known as an event listener. So that's the basics. Hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more of how to work with views and layouts, and maybe even a little bit on the, the positioning. So obviously we just scratched the bare surface but I can only cover so much and I'd like to get into 
each one of these things in more detail as we go on. So thank you guys for watching. Have fun placing buttons. I know it's exciting. And yeah, let me let me see what you got. Show me your app with buttons. Well, what can you do? <laughs> thank you guys and see you in, uh, in the next episode.